Hello. In this video, let's get acquainted with the team page. This page let admins and supervisors perform various actions with the team and run a micromanagement on a daily and weekly basis. An admin can see these five tabs. Supervisors see few of them. Timers tab shows who in your team is currently working and on what tasks they worked before. Below come members who post timers, took time off or did not track any time today at all. You can stop the timer of your colleague, indicate a reason, thus notifying the employee. There is a filter by individuals and team groups, which helps to see only your department and subordinates. You can choose another day and make this page your standard meeting supplement. Let's now go to the team timesheet. Here you'll see total project hours by your team for any week. Choose one of the five latest weeks or go even to the early period if you need. There are various filters and uh, grouping options on this page. Below you can expand the user profile to see the task and update daily totals, see time of events and approve member time. You can download the timesheet of this user or you can download the team timesheet as a number of files in one zip folder. Let's now go to time cards. It is used by salaried employees or team members who don't need to log their project work. You can see when a user starts or finishes work, if this is required by the laws of your state. Or you can understand the period of everyone's activity and use it to coordinate a meeting. Ever our strives to collect this data and avoid human error. For example, you can clock in by starting the timer and clock out according to team settings. Your status can be changed if your computer is idle. If you need, you can always correct your time clicking on the cell. Let's go to time off now. This is the place where you can find all the details about when your staff is away and for what reason. You can create any type of time here and mark it as payable or not. By the way, you can let members to request time off and then approve it. Let's go to the members page. It lists the users invited to a team. Here you can manage their roles, hourly rates and costs, and uh, weekly capacity, as well as set the daily, weekly or monthly limit to track hours and assign to a team group to separate employees by their departments or areas of work. You can invite other members by pasting their email, cho choosing their user role and adding to internal projects if you use them. If you only work with external tools, a user needs to connect their tool with EverHour during the registration. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you still have questions about this page, feel free to contact us at ask at everhour.com or click on the green question mark button to read other support materials.